Hello and welcome on what is a perfect night for football at one of the great venues in the game, the Zignali Duna Park. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It is Borussia Dortmund, and they take on Greuther Fürth. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Mats Hummel starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Marco Reus plays with Torgan Azard on the flanks. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. And they kick off here. And dispossessed. Jude Bellingham. Mini eight. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. Branimir Hergota. Max Christiansen. Here's Willems. Hergota. Alert defending. Just not looking confident in possession. A chance to whip it in. Still looking to get the shot off. Cutting the ball back. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. It's a corner. Let's see about the delivery. Foiling his opponent completely. And well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. And still an opportunity. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. <laughs> A 
And over it comes. It hasn't come to very much. It's opening up for them. They'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Guerrero on the ball to Organazar. Crossing possibilities. Erling Haaland. Torgan Azar. And a corner to Borussia Dortmund. Chance perhaps for them to take the lead if they get it right. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Guerrero with the corner. Chance maybe. And able to get a body in the way. And they couldn't keep possession. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight. And neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon. And then we might get some entertainment. And Bellingham... Royce plays it back Brandt every pass hitting its target Azar superb defensive judgment to end the attack Seguin Nicely timed tackle. Brandt. That's a lovely ball. Could play it in. And there's the feed into the box. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Falling home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such many. Great goal. Managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, after a slow start where he was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second-half display. So back underway, Dortmund with the lead, but certainly no room for complacency. Guerrero. On the ball, Torgan Azar. Not showing good patience. Marco Reus. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Eaton. Moving it forward. Seguin. Can he take advantage? It's got to be. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant.
There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. They take it short. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Rice. Emery Jan now. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. Azar. And now Brandt cuts it back with a textbook interception. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Seguin. Well, finally, it goes out of play and the pressure was there from the start. Substitution it is for Dortmund. And the ball now with Bauer. Branimir Hergota. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Now they've lost it. Minier. The ball with Marco Reus. Holland. Reus. Dortmund getting ready for the set-piece routine, hoping to increase their lead. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. And there's the delivery. No nonsense clearance. Not high quality defending. Hobart Nielsen. It's a perfect challenge. Well, not much time left now, and these supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. What an atmosphere. Manuel Akanji. They've regained possession. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? Dahoud. And now passing it through. And just has to remain calm. Top class defending. Seguin and successfully cut out Green the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order this looks interesting Mats Hummels with that important block. Perfect challenge. 
And the referee blows his whistle. With that, the game is over, and it's a victory for Dortmund. What did you think of their performance? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. Well, I'm always reluctant to criticise Erling Haaland. It might sound like criticism simply because he wasn't at his brilliant best in this game. Well, he struggled to get involved today, if I'm being honest. Sometimes you just have to accept it's one of those days. But it was a good team performance and a very good win.